Hello everyone, welcome to Geology Concepts. In this video, we'll discuss about uh, revision of IIT JAM syllabus and how to do that in merely 60 days. So, IIT JAM syllabus, as you can see, has nine topics in it, right? And there are some important points or subtopics within these topics so that you have to revise, like in petrology, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. What are the important topics within these? subtopics so that uh, you can complete your revision in 60 days okay so we'll discuss all those before going into that uh, let me tell you that we are uh, starting a crash course which will be focused on the nat strategy because there is a definite section in the it jam examination that is covering all the numericals and uh, therefore and a lot of students also face difficulties and there was a request we did this course last year also and this year also we have a huge request to you know start this course so we'll be starting a new batch from first of december more about it in the end of the video now if you look at the topics petrology so if you look at petrology there are three types of petrology igneous metamorphic and sedimentary in igneous it is the classification that is important igneous textures uh, very good questions nat questions can come from binary and ternary diagram most of the time you will get means almost every year you will get a question from here in an form. form then there can be questions on little bit magma diversity if you look at metamorphic petrology the topics can be for metamorphic texture type of met metamorphism met metamorphic facies and pt diagram and means they will ask you about the depth at which metamorphism is happening so uh, the questions which are dependent on temperature and pressure will also be there in sedimentary petrology it is basically the composition and classification of sedimentary log which is the most important part right you can also look questions which are based on sedimentary environments but uh, classification of sedimentary log is the most preferred type of questions that you can see now if we move to structural geology primary structures secondary structures and there is an part now an part is very important here because there will be questions like pressure on the rock means at what depth what will be the temperature so questions relating to geothermal and geo pressure pressure gradients then a lot of questions will be on map calculation very good questions come in the map part strike depth apparent depth calculation and stereographic calculation so this covers your NAD part and this is very very important because without fail every year you will see that there is a lot of questions coming from structural geology talking about the slip in the fault the calculation of the slip the depth the thickness of the bed so all those there will be questions from primary structures in igneous sedimentary rock and tertiary and secondary structures like fold faults cleavage foliation so these are very usual topic that you have to revise but please put focus on these topics in the NAT part. Then there is the planet Earth. The planet Earth can be divided into three broad topics where one is your geochemistry where questions relating to radioactivity, chemical kinetics and basic thermodynamics you will see as NAT. Radioactivity the questions are mostly NAT type right and in basic thermodynamics and chemical kinetics you have to understand the evolution of uh, let's say certain isotope over time then there is geophysics in geophysics you get question from earthquake right from which scale a lot of questions are from there right there is question on basic gravity and magnetic method so this is important as an nat part question in solar system also we get questions from other planets like you see this question right or what is the abundance of the elements in the solar system Right. and question pertaining to earth as a planet right so this is the part where you see the earth and planetary uh, data like like the size the radius the density of the planets of the terrestrial planet which is the most dense planet which is the lightest planet of all right so questions like this can always be there then we have mineralogy and crystallography a very important topic because uh, this stereograph projections of crystal classes and 
HM symbol, Miller indices, and so on symbol. Now, this the Miller indices part can give you a very good NAT question. So, this is very very important. There can be questions relating to angle between the crystal planes, right? Axial ratio of these parameters. Of course, you have to do this if you are solving for Miller indices, right? There are questions on birefringence calculation, so you should know the whole. Uh, idea behind what is birefringence and so if the question is also twisted in a way you don't feel is uh, it, it doesn't make you uncomfortable you know the basic of birefringence how it is calculated what is retardation then this becomes very easy for that you have to see what is optical mineralogy in optical mineralogy there is uniaxial y axial system so that is also very important because by this understanding this part will become very clear right then basic physical properties and silicate structures okay, questions you'll always find questions in that now if you look at the paleontology section this is a theoretical topic now in this theoretical topic you have these topics like diversification of life where you see origin of life the cambrian explosion life on lands like reptiles and how they means how the fall of dinosaurs and the rise of mammals Evolutionary trend like major mass extensions, biostratigraphy, continental drift theory. There are very particular questions from important phylums like anthozoa, mollusca, and this is given in your syllabus. So you cannot ignore it. You have to see all the points related to these phylums. There is graptolite mentioned in the syllabus and Gondwana flora. So Glossopteris, Vinganopteris, all those Gondwana flora questions should be very, very clear so but it is theoretical then you have geomorphology geomorphology is important because there are questions from various types of indices bifurcation ratio stream ordering calculation these are the nat part questions which normally always appear ripple index calculation right and all these different types of landforms from glacier eulian fluvial cast and mass wasting type of uh, regions right in a glacier region you will find various landforms like kettle lakes uh, like eskers right in eolian you will find dunes right in fluvial you have meandering system you have braided system and others so all the landforms should be clear in your head because questions like this which have which have matched the columns so a good practice will be to make a list of all the landforms that you see right and uh, the landforms are of two types means one is formed due to deposition and one is formed due to erosion so make sure you make a list separately of erosional landforms and depositional landforms under every uh, type of uh, topography like glacier eolian and fluvial right <laughs> then if we look at the ore geology part now mostly it is theory but uh, in nad we have questions based on reserve estimates so the met metal content is asked the metal content is uh, the one you have to calculate by give if you know the assay value right and then the questions from grade and 10 age right so these are the nad question that you will get right and these questions are not difficult but uh, you need to have a lot of practice of it once you have a practice these questions become fairly easy right so i'll not consider this as a very difficult type of questions there will be questions from over farming process and distribution like like match the column distribution is very very common in our geology then there is applied geology the applied geology is basically an 80 type questions only most of the questions Right, except for the questions that are directly coming from tunnels and dams, like this one, this can be there can be theoretical questions also, but majorly the questions which are based on RQD methods, preparation of grain size distribution, porosity, void ratio, degree of saturation, atomic limit, these all these all are NAT questions. Right? Where the question is based on Darcy law, where it is the groundwater flow, all these. Darcy law is very very important. Every year you see a question from this. Right, so this is what is I can say applied geology of as as the name also suggests applied geology to majorly it is NAT type questions. And then you have Indian stratigraphy, which is a theoretical topic, and uh, the, you can divide it into three heads where you can 
revise it as the Precambrian geology, where you look at cratons and Precambrian sediments, Kadappa, Gumbhan, Kurnul, and Supergroup. Kurnul Supergroup. Then you have Paleozoic and Mesozoic, where you have Kashmir, Spiti of Himachal Pradesh, Uvanwana traps, and Deccan traps. In tertiary system, we majorly get questions from Shivalik and Assam region of the uh, Himalayas, the Eastern Himalayas, and uh, questions from Jammu and Kashmir region. So, if you read it like this, means you divide your uh, stratigraphy in these three parts and uh, make notes of it and revise it. This, uh, you already have a notes. So, this is a theoretical topic, but uh, if you divide it, then it becomes easy. But otherwise, it becomes a huge bunch of things you have to remember, right? So, do that and look at the previous year questions and uh, get some good test series so that uh, you can have a lot of practice. Okay. Now, coming to the crash course that we are starting, this the crash course will focus majorly on the NET questions. So, it is an NET based questions, and if the students require discussion on any important topics like phase diagrams or PT diagrams or anything we will also cover all the important topics in that right the features will be like the classes will be from Monday to Friday and there will be doubt clearing session there will be problem solving approach which is I think is the most important part here we will guide you how to approach certain type of questions right so that you don't waste time on this right and we'll also tell you how to score maximum marks, and how to attempt the paper so that you get maximum marks out of it, right? Without it goes without saying that we'll give you a lot of questions to practice, right? And that will help you in strengthening your basic uh, understanding of uh, uh, you know solving NAT type questions. Immediately. Okay, so the course starts from first of December, and uh, the focus will be on NAT. If there is any query, you can. Uh, definitely call us at this number and please fill the form which is given in the registration link so if you're interested so that we can get back to you thank you and have a good day